Wages World here. It is uh, April 16th going into the 17th, uh, 2020. And yeah, come at you with a video. And we got quite a bit to go over today, so I'm just going to kind of jump into it. So uh, bear with me here. Okay, guys, I'm going to touch on earthquakes just really quick, okay? Um, we had a 6.0 over here in Honduras shortly after the live stream I did last night with Scott. Um, and then we, then was about four hours later, there was one over here in Burma, about five, it was a five nine. And then we actually even had one over here in Utah, uh, just south of, uh, uh, Salt Lake City. Um, it was a 4.2 that made some news. Um, it's just a highly populated area, but this uptick was kind of predicted by quite a few people. Um, uh, Dutch sense was talking about it and, and some others were also. Um, you know, I don't usually do that because I, I'm just not that knowledgeable on this subject. Um, I know that when we get space weather, as far as solar wind increases and things, that our, our chances of earthquakes do go up. That's the only time I ever come out and say, hey, you know, watch out for possible bigger earthquakes or more of them. Um, you know, any, anything outside of that, I won't say that. I'll point you over to them. And that's just what I have to do. It's the only thing I can do, really. Um, you know, like Dutch, whether you believe on what he, how he comes to his predictions, you know, it almost doesn't matter because he, historically what he says, his accuracy rate is really extremely high. <laughs> okay. So that's why I always point people over there. You don't have to understand how he comes to his conclusion. You just got to go back and look at the record of what he says. And that'll show you that, hey, you know, this guy, however he's doing it, He's coming to the right conclusion. Maybe I should listen to him. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on the earthquakes here real quick because, you know, it is what we need to pay attention to. This is a, this is one of the data things we look at when we're talking about, you know, really, really big things happening. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the Schumann. Um, what I'm seeing, guys, you know, about every 24 hours, we're starting to see a spike. Okay, um, it isn't exactly 24 hours apart. But it seems as though we're getting, um, not, I don't want to say a long duration because they're not really that long. And like this one here is, is only a few hours uh, long, only lasted a couple hours. But then, you know, you go back through here and you see that there was multiple all the way down through here. Like just little short bursts of, you know, increase in the frequency. Now, I was looking at this and something struck me because... Um, it isn't what we usually see, okay? Now, if we go over here and we look, what I want you guys to look at, this is the 7.83, okay? That's our, that's our base, I don't want to call it baseline. That's normally where it's sitting, okay? That's usually what we look for. Anything above or below that, we would consider, you know, not normal. Um, low frequency can be bad, just like high frequency can, and vice versa. They can both be good, too. Just depends on what we're talking about, Okay. They pump this into the space stations and stuff to keep people from going crazy. Um, I'm not going to go into a big spiel about that because I do, I do it a lot. But anybody that wants to know more about this, I mean, it's real easy to go figure it out and just do a simple Google search and you'll understand that this directly affects mental health, crime rate, all of it. Okay, guys, um, this, is, this is one of the main factors in everything that's going on. So as we're looking at this, like I said, this is the baseline. You're always going to see some sort of uh, frequency base right there, right? Now, I started noticing here that you started seeing one staying pretty consistent and prominent. And then this one did too. Like in increments of like an increase of four hertz. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. Okay, then even right here it started another four there. Okay, so I'm going to X out of that. Now look, look at this. Okay, it seems as though we're starting to see, and we've been seeing this more and more, but this is this is more consistent than I've ever seen it. Okay, um, we're seeing higher frequency staying. It's not going away. Okay, usually we'll see them and it'll last about like that and go away, right? Even if it's not in that intense. But these, this seems to be sticking, guys. Um, that could be good. That could be bad, depending on what your theories and what your beliefs are. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell people what to think. That's for sure. But I can tell you this. I can show you the observation. 
Okay, it's definitely an increase, and this is definitely showing up and sticking around. It's not going away. It's been there for days now. Okay, and that's outside of the spikes. Here's the spikes. You get ringing in your ears and stuff, go look at this, and if it's right around the time of these spikes, most likely that's what's happened. Now, this right here shows ex really what I was talking about. Okay, you see the increase? How it's, it's staying? It's not really going away? Those are all on the same line there. Okay, so we have to, you know, we have to keep that in mind. Whatever's causing this, it, you know, but we just have to make sure that we, we know that this is going on. You can even see kind of like a, a gradual increase in the whole vibration right there. And it stayed once it got here. It's not, it hasn't lowered yet in days. So that's what I would say. Um, we need to pay attention to this because this can be precursors. This could be a result of something that's happened. Or it can actually be, hey, something could be happening here before too long because of this. And that's how powerful frequency is, guys. It can cure cancer, guys. I mean, go back and look at Dr. Rife. R-I-F-E. Everybody Google that, please. Dr. Rife, and you'll understand immediately um, how powerful this stuff can be. So, I wanted to bring you that. Okay, guys. Um, remember yesterday, uh, the live stream and then my video I did last night, talking about the CME, the two of them that happened at the exact same time. And we talked about a little bit about what could be causing that, uh, at least some little ideas that I had. Um, I've not really heard or seen anybody come out with any videos on about what's going on with this. Um, I'm not sure if they just aren't aware yet or what, but um, I'm trying to, you know, do my best. Me and Scott both are just researching this, just trying to figure it out. And, um, you know, again, we may never ever know what caused that. But what I can tell you is that, um, to give you a little perspective, again, this is, this is on Lasco C2. And this is on the SOHO Observatory, which is um, a spacecraft, a satellite, guys. Okay, it sits out in front of the Earth. Right here's the Earth. Obviously, this is the sun. The satellite kind of sits there. And it's looking at the sun, always. All right, I just want to let you guys know our perspective here. Um, the next satellite I'm going to show you is actually going to be a side view because it's going to be over here looking at the sun. But for this right here, what we're looking at, this is the perspective we have. Now... Um, if you look at the timestamp, that starts on the 13th. Now, I'm going to start rolling this through. And you see that little flash? Okay. Sometimes when that happens, we have a data uh, mishap. But other times, it's actual flash. That one there seemed to be um, a flash. Because no, no data was missing. Okay. Now, around these two CMEs, Scott discovered that there were some, like, four flashes that happened also. Okay, the whole sun flashed, at least according to the tools. All right, um, it was really strange. Neither one of us had ever seen that kind of a stuff. Two CMEs, exactly the same size, exactly opposite one of another, one another, going in opposite directions. I mean, and the whole thing with that is, I tried to you know explain guys that you know there was probably energy coming out all over the whole the whole sun. It just didn't cause a CME like we've seen on you know, opposite of each other right there. But here's, it's, it's kind of hard to see. I get it. You know, it's just going to be like a faded area. You're going to see it pop off right through there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it back. Now watch. It's starting right there. See that? Now that jump you're seeing, like I said, it's data missing. We go from 1600 hours on the 14th. And we don't get to see nothing else until... 0 hundred on the 15th so in other words we missed eight hours we missed the beginning of that we didn't get to see it so you know why um you know if it's just a glitch whatever i get it but it also missed on the other satellite and we sh i showed you guys that yesterday but as we go on through here look what happens okay on the 15th we're getting close to the 16th which is today going into the 17th Watch what happens on the left side. What I want you guys to look at is right over here. It's going to be pretty easy to see, actually. Okay, see it popping off right there? Boom. That's another CME. All right. Now, if you look over here, 
opposite of it, you can actually kind of see something change. Okay, not big. I'm not saying that was a CME or anything, but we've seen that. That's just a glitch, guys. Okay, don't even worry about that. I wanted to show you. I showed you guys that yesterday, too. But as we're going down through here, okay, there's another CME. All right? So we get the double CME, and then a day later, we get another one right there. And that's something odd, too, because that's the CME, and the CME tracker hasn't updated yet to show that. And I'm wondering why. You know, it doesn't update every time. It should, but it doesn't. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to, I'm going to take, this is Stereo A. Now remember, on this one, here's Stereo A. The Earth is kind of like right here. This is a side view. Not like the other one I just showed you. So, again, here's that double CME. Boom. Okay, see how much time we missed? Look at that. We go from 1506, 07, got to 07, then it went to 20. We missed 13 hours. Why? You have to ask yourself that. Both satellites missed data. It's ridiculous. They're millions of miles away from each other, guys. Millions. So we keep going here. And we're going to see a stereo A picked up that CME. Okay, it did a little bit, but what's happening here is it's probably, it may, be, it may be because it may be coming right at this satellite. See this disc right here? That's the occulter. It, blacks out, it blocks out the main uh, light of the sun, and it does that so we can even get a picture at all, right? So if that, if that uh, CME is coming right at this satellite, and it's not like real huge, like wide, um, we're not going to see much of it because this occulter is going to block it. It's not going to be able to see it. The camera won't see it. But if I, the more I look at this, it looks like we may have, if you, you'll look at it here, it looks kind of like a faded area here. It might have went off back that way. Um, let's take a look at that again. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, that's what happened. If you guys look at this real close, and I know I look at this all the time, so I see it. But if you have to, pause this video, run it back and forth, or go over here to ISWA and look at it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to go forward. There's the faded. I know it's hard to see. I'm not even going to try to show it to you guys again. It is hard to see. But it's happening right there. Um, again, guys, this is Mercury, just so you know. Um, that's why we look at two different satellites. See, the one that we were looking at from Earth over here, it looked like it was going straight off this way, right? Well, now we can tell that we see it over here from this satellite. So from Earth's perspective, it looked like it was going this way, but it's actually going, if you're going to say we're Earth, well, let's go over here to this one. Okay. Earth's over here. And on this one, it showed, it looked like it was going directly that way. But in reality, it's actually going that way. Okay. They both look the same because of our perspective. That's why we look at two different satellites there. So that's going on. We had another CME, guys. Okay, guys, I got you over here at SDO because I want to show you this. Again, this is our view from Earth, okay? Earth is here. Sun is here. The satellite's here. And we're just looking straight at the Earth. It's from our perspective. It's as if you went outside and looked up at the sun, okay? So what we're going to see is we're going to see that, that CME I just showed you, and it's going to pop off right. Oops, sorry about that, guys. It's going to pop off right here, okay? So I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see it. See that? Okay? Happens really fast, and that's usually what we see with a, with a significant CME. It busts off there really, really quick. Um, so watch it right there again. I'll let this run through a few times. Bam. See that? You can even see kind of what we call a solar tornado kind of form right here. And what that is is just lines of magnetism, and it's the... It's the um, the uh, particles following up that that line of magnetism and it circles around it it isn't it isn't swirling like wind okay i don't want people to think that because that's not what it's doing um these solar vortexes um are are uh run ran by you know lines of magnetism electricity stuff okay 
the plasma just follows up that line. That's how it travels. So as you see this, watch this. Okay, I'll let, it, I'll let it play through here a couple times. Boom. All right, now we got lucky there because the position of that, it was actually, the filament was actually on this side where we could actually see it. But so, but when it fired off, it actually went this way. So that's a good thing. We don't want it coming at us. We can, you know, keep from that. <laughs> and we have no control over that, obviously. But as you'll, you'll be able to see it here again. Um, I'll let it run through a couple more times here just so you guys can see it. Um, it most definitely is interesting. Um, you know, and again, we've seen those other two that happened at the same time. They showed up on here also. So it happened, guys. Um, I still don't know what happened. I wish other people would dive into this besides just me and Scott, too. Um, you know, we're going to be able to figure out whatever we can. But at the same time, the more people looking at that, man, it sure would be nice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I don't care who discovers the stuff, guys. I don't care who gets it right. I just want to know what the, what the answer is. That's all. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Um, I'm trying to get my video times down because when it gets up over a half hour, I get that people don't want to watch for that long. You know, I, I'm the same way. Uh, it's just when I get to talking about stuff like this, I want people to understand what I'm seeing and how I'm seeing it, hopefully to help others. Um, but, you know, that's the goal of what I do here. I want you guys to be able to navigate through these tools and make your own decision. You know, don't trust what I'm saying. Go to the tools that I'm showing you and make up your own mind. Um, not everybody's going to believe how I believe, and I get it. I do. I don't get mad over that at all at all matter of fact i encourage it because it challenges it. we challenge each other okay it makes us better as long as it's done respectfully that's all i'm saying so anyway guys um god bless Yeshua saves and uh you can drink this kool-aid <laughs>